All right, good morning, guys. We just made it to the hole. I'm Ryan Hardy. We're students at University of Wisconsin Platteville. Um, the hole we're hunting today, it's kind of two holes that merge into a point. We look for a nice, clear, open strip with some duckweed on the edges. Jared's over in the other hole, straight in front. He's getting some cattails so we could make a little blind, but just kind of look for an open hole in these cattails right off the edge of the Mississippi, because the main channel with these winds, uh, birds don't exactly want to sit out there with a foot and a half waves, but they tend to come in here. You can see quite a few feathers along the edge back behind me, and birds are just dumping in here the past day, so um, a couple guys were south of here. They did pretty well, shot a six man and a seven man, and then a three man, so. Should have pretty good chances this morning. Yeggs and I went out yesterday on the boat and saw quite a few birds come out of this hole. We thought it was the hole right behind, but based off the feathers in the back behind me, most likely they were sitting in this hole or the other side, so wish us luck. Yeah, I mean, we can do it, but it's gonna take a lot. It's just pretty sparse for a cover in here, so definitely trying to figure out how we can hide. Right now, I think we're gonna just take the bottom of this wild rice, and make a structure, and then hopefully take the top of them and get good enough hide in here. But yeah, it's, I mean, there's nothing really thick, thick, so we gotta make do with what we got. Should be okay, it's just gonna take a lot of, a lot of walking through here getting wild rice, so. How you doing over there? It sucks being a big guy and a waterfall hunter. <laughs> I think a lot of other big guys understand. <laughs> and now I got to untangle this rat's nest. Yeah. How do you think the hunt's gonna go today? I think we're really set up for a good multi-species smack down here. We're in the right spot. We got a lot of guys around here. It's high pressure, a lot of hunters, but we expected that. That's what we're used to here. We got here early, which is what we came to game plan for. We got just about 45 minutes or so before shooting light, but getting here early and getting the spread, and our spot set up, claimed. Hopefully you guys are in for a treat today. I'm excited for today. There are all kinds of ducks trying to drop in on me at the boat. Lots of mallards and teal. So hopefully that means something for today. Oh wow. That's a decent number of geese. Ducks He's done. Nice. I smoked that one. Nice. Thanks for double tapping him. Yeah. He's still alive. Yeah. He's a nice green head. Yeah, that was beautiful. Was it too soon? That perfect. No, I got the green it. Head. Right. <laughs> right when it came <laughs> in, right when it came down. 
Man, that's how that's how they all need to do it right there. That that's sweet. how we that wrote the script. Yeah. He read the script and he did it. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo! There we go. Broke the streak. That's a beautiful one. Yeah. Look at that orange Triple feet. Tail, orange footer. Wow. Probably one of the migrators from yesterday. He came out of nowhere. He's a stud. Yeah, he is a stud. He might be a shotgun rider. Potential. Look how orange those feet are. Yeah, that white ring around his neck, triple curl. Now he just needs a band. That's one. Stud bird. Nice job. They're working this way. We get more at 12 o'clock too. Four packs. I Going 11 o'clock. Oh, I see. Well, right. I Thank you. Right to that front, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> see you guys. You think I care? <laughs> it's not the dumbest thing we've done. <laughs> no. When we got bored last year, we'd call on swans, so... There's another flock on there. The wind's perfect for you boys to come right here. Better go after him. Yep. Hey, watch the spot so I know where I'm going. Yep. <laughs> we saw my duck land somewhere over here and we've been looking for 30 minutes now. We don't know what happened. We kind of figure they that he dived down or something because we walked this really, really good and we can't find him so. That really sucks, but yeah, I don't know. Just can't find them. Going away now. What are they not like? Oh, they're looking right at the place where we don't have any brush, so. There you go. Look at those guys just leaving. Big brain here. Yeah, he's not what he's doing. First rodeo getting stuck. Yep. And just like that, he struggles the least out of the bunch. It was rough. Didn't see a ton of birds. The birds we did see were all migrating. Um, we shot one Drake Mallard and then shot another lost it in the weeds um, looking forward to tonight we're going out on a deer hunt hopefully shoot a buck definitely gonna shoot a doe um, in the morning we're gonna go field to right we're gonna yeah. go field yeah. hunt for geese might go on a pond depending on permission so got a little bit to look forward to in these next few hours but hopefully we get something done for you guys to make matters worse Broken belt. So now we got a nice three quarters mile paddle back upstream. It's not gonna be fun. Not how we wanted to have today go. No idea. You know what we say to that? 
adversity makes a stronger hunter. <laughs> That's a staple around here. We like to say it a little bit. Oh my god. Well. All right, ladies and gents, we just got back to the launch. We had some two nice hunters offer up a tow for the rest of the duration of our paddle. It was a grind. When they say Midwest nights, they weren't kidding. You know, those guys are awesome to help us out. They're obviously struggling. Saw them glasses up in the binos, and it was like a knight in shining armor or saving heroes. So now it's time to load up the boat, get some lunch, and then come up with a game plan for Sunday morning, probably hit a field. Slam some geese. You good? Sweet. Dry land. What? Yeah. You're upset. Is she black hair? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, Hazel. Is she? Whoever is friends with uh, Kaylee, he was. Is your car on? Yes. Okay. This is what I did to get permission on the land, cut out all this, made a nice campsite for the landowner, get a beautiful view of the valley. Um, River flows through here, catch some trout and the smallies in here, but it's just a great view and that's why I got on here. Then maintain the ATV trails and just do some work for him other than that and all these are permission farms but they hold some giants and we try and average a four and a half to five and a half year old buck here, so we'll see what comes in until we'll get smacked, but only certain bucks will, so here we go. set up so we got up in this tree it's overlooking a cut sorghum field don't know why they cut it this early it wasn't even doughy up top or anything um, and then we got alfalfa and corn just over the hill they're about 20 25 tops and jake's they were sitting right here but we got three target bucks for sure and then there's a couple that we need to take a look at before we shoot so if a doe walks by we'll shoot her but Preferably one of those three bucks gives us a 20, 30 yard shot and get it all on film. Get campus waterfall in a tree. <laughs> it's a little different compared to what we're used to, but I'd rather much be, I'd rather have two feet on the ground, but you know what? <laughs> hey, oh, here we go. They got one coming around the corner. Uh, yep, we got, a, we got a deer coming. Right there, there's a buck. Just cross.
upside down. <laughs> from campus waterfall. Oh really? Yeah, I just shot him at six yards and watched him fall over. Thanks. Will do. Love you, bye. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Jared has to say. <laughs> yep, Jared and Yanks are together. Tell me he got one. Yup, smoked him at six yards and he's down at like a hundred. It's a buck? It's a big one. Oh, what? Yup. <laughs> Dude, let's go! He came in following a doe. I was gonna shoot the doe. <gasps> and then he just I just saw him out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, that's a big frame. I don't know Dude. who he is. I didn't I tried not to look at the antlers. I just you you've never seen Dude, him before. Let's go. I didn't pay attention let's to the antlers because I just saw how big he was. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I saw him, like, I heard him behind here, and so, like, I saw him in the, those trees, so I got Thanks, the footage man. of that, but. Yeah, no, smoked him at five yards. <laughs> That's awesome. So. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm pretty positive I watched him fall over at, like, 90 to 100 yards, so. If you aren't sure, just, just give him some time. Well, uh, yeah, what? I could see a stupid amount of blood coming out of him. Yeah. Blood okay. is absolutely covering the arrow right in front of us. <laughs> Blew right through him. Hell yeah, dude, that's awesome. Yep, I said, Camp's Waterfall? No, it's Campus Deer now. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. All right. Easy. Dude, hey, yeah, we'll, we're watching geese right now. There's a lot of them, but we'll be out, we'll be out there. We'll do you want to meet back at the house? Yeah, or what do you do? we'll go to the house, grab something to eat, and then come back out. Okay. And... All right, once, once it gets dark, we'll head back. All right, sounds good. All See right. ya. See ya. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold this camera steady right now. <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. Oh my gosh. Look at that arrow. Look how soaked it is. Yeah. Like. I can't really see it from up here, but. Yeah, it's just. It's white oh. fletchings. He took. Then he ran into the fence, too. Yeah. But. That's what they look like. It don't look like that anymore. <laughs> no, they end there. No. Yeah. All right guys, just got out of the tree. Walk over, take a look at the arrow. It was a perfect shot, so not too worried about it. Just waiting for the guys. We'll go back, grab some dinner, and wait till the goose guys get back, and then we'll come looking for them. Just covered. The thorn crown did the job. Discount code of ours is uh, USA10 for 10% off all thorn broadheads products. So check them out. Nasty little eight blade fixed blade. Is there any more? There's first blood. Right there. Oh, there's a ton of blood. Right. Oh, yeah. All that. And it just goes. All go. Oh, gosh. That's going to be an easy one to follow up. See it all the way up. Yeah, right up on the leaves there. All the bubbles in here. It's a good double lung shot, possibly top of the heart. But that's the type of blood you like to see. It's all over. Easy to see. Blood crash. Keeps on going. That's what we like to see. Just gotta go 
wait for the guys and then go get them. Let's go, dude, let's go! That is so cool. Yeah? So cool. About to walk out. Oh my God. I was just about ready to shoot them here and out of court my eyes. It's all dogs. Dairy. I haven't even seen this yet. I want yeah. to watch this all film with you guys. I was ready to shoot him there and I could see he wasn't exactly ready for yeah. it. And I was like, ah, I can't do it. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cool. That is a nasty looking deer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Yep. yep. He gets yep. stuck in the fence. And Did you see him go blood. down? I'm pretty positive. You can see his smoke. It's cold, dude. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. It was five yards. That, I, I was gonna say the video <laughs> looks like yards. he's literally standing right under your yep. stand. Yep. I was about to shoot the doe. Damn, you don't even have to aim at that. I literally. Well, oh wait, we don't have the GoPro footage in, but yeah, on the GoPro, I draw back and within like a second and a half I shoot. Just because when I drew back, my pin was already just above the heart. And yeah. I'm like, like a quick well, scope. Might as well, pretty much. No, that is so hype. Might as well just squeeze it off. I. Well, I gotta replay that one back. Yeah. No, well, well, I just gotta just, look. Just keep this on loop your text. Right? It's just the video. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is what are Dude, you saying? No. <laughs> come on. You wanna come see it? Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll switch with you. You know what that means, Yankees. We're up next. Oh, well that too. I got barbecue oh, yeah. on my computer. <laughs> Probably rip. Yeah. No, that uh, bottle of whiskey. Uh, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> 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 then I immediately got that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's perfect. She crashes in the fence. That is a nasty looking deer. Quick. He stopped perfect for you. That moment, he knew. See you <laughs> later, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Andy, he ran uh, east. Yeah. I think he died right under. Yeah. Right by that Browning. Yeah. Right where it crests into the field. Basically, where he pulled my muzzleloader buck out of. I'll get the ice. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> this is for after we go walk back. <laughs> yeah. So. Got him. Ah, dang, he's pretty good. Look at that exit. Wow. Good shot, dude. Woo. You wanna help me drag him out of here, Jared? Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's a good buck. Not too shabby. Six by five, probably 18 wide. Not too bad, nice little inside kicker here. Good four year old, would have looked better next year, but he is not making He's it not that making far. It. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a hole in his head. Is he? Yeah, a little one. He's fighting. Yeah, got stabbed right in there. That's a good deer. Yeah. Dude, I'm excited for you. That's a really nice buck. Can I come find that so bad? No. Nice little blade. Yeah, he's got a lot of character. Reminds me a lot of Hollywood. Yeah. Long twos, curling threes, decent brows. 
really good buck. Yeah, I saw that frame coming. I was like, I'm shooting him. I got to <laughs> do it. Basically, where he died is where I saw him. I saw him under this tree, and well, he died under the tree. So, looks like it's going to be exit's going to be a heart, possibly. Dude, yeah, that's a good shot. That's good, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Nice buck, this buck. Yeah. Well, it's a real nice buck. That was too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you, first time on the property, and I just smoke them. <laughs> Don't complain about it being easy. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do it's okay, I hunted the last 19 days, so. Yeah, you worked your butt off for this year for sure. Did not expect to be shooting him. Yeah. But he's dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no regrets there, that's big buck. Yeah, I know. He's coming home with me. Yep. <laughs> that little TikTok. <laughs> You're coming home You're with coming me. Home with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, well, here he is. He's a solid four-year-old. I just call him the six by five. Um, he only went, what, maybe 60, 80 yards, a lot shorter than we thought he did. Uh, truck, we parked not even 20 yards away from him. He was just tucked under the fence, kind of where I thought he died, but we didn't check there, so I'm kind of glad. It was nice following that crazy blood trail. And uh, it's just a great hunt overall. We didn't do well this morning with Campus Waterfowl waterfowl hunting so brought him out deer hunting and well here he is so cannot complain in the morning we'll be going for some geese hopefully you're seeing us smack some honkers in the morning it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, i'm shaking oh,